In Camp Shorabak, Helmand province, a group of Afghan army recruits learn how to maintain their weapons. At the back of the class, the Danish mentors oversee the lesson and prepare feedback. As 2014 approaches, the date which ISAF has earmarked to hand over security responsibility to the Afghans, the Danes are focusing much of their efforts on mentoring and training the Afghan army and police. It's 40 degrees centigrade. It's blisteringly hot. We're here in the desert outside Camp Bastion down in southern Helmand province, uh, watching the ANA train. Danish, who are behind me, are mentoring them. They're watching from afar. Uh, but essentially, it's the ANA training each other. Uh, the Afghans are now conducting all the lessons themselves, they're doing the planning and the, uh, the training basically without our help. They will ask us for advice and we'll tell, us, uh, tell them what we think they should do and we'll discuss it and they'll make their own decisions and carry them out and see them through. Understanding Afghan culture is a top priority for all ISAF troops. Not only does this significantly improve the training process, it also helps prevent cultural misunderstandings that in extreme cases could lead to violence. <laughs> Danish First Lieutenant and military linguist Morton spent 18 months studying Pashtun language and culture. I want to help avoid this uh, cultural miscommunication. There have been incidents around ISAF with what we call green on blue, which is Afghan units attacking ISAF units. And most of this is because of personal issues, because of people stepping on each other's toes badly enough to, to turn into violence. It's not just in training where a good relationship with the Afghans could help to save lives. This Danish police mentoring team undertake frequent operations with the Afghans in the local town of Goreshk, knowing that building a strong bond with the local people is essential to a successful mission. Um, right now we're just inside the Goreshk hospital. Um, we have some supplies they might be interested in, so we're just paying a social visit and then moving on our, on our patrol. And relationship building remains integral to the Danish mission out in the field, where units such as Bravo Company, who regularly go out on patrol and are still actively involved in the fight against the insurgents, rely on local nationals to provide valuable information. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Right now we're pushing into a couple of first compounds. We just discovered that two compounds are interlinked. Um, there's women and children inside, so we're using the owner to have them safely removed uh, for um, cultural reasons. I got some good intel from uh, local nationals I interviewed. So, all in all, I think, yeah, great success. In Helmand is the Danish celebration of Midsummer Eve, where according to tradition, a symbolic witch is burned on a fire. But whilst this witch's days are numbered, the days of the Danish contribution and commitment to Afghanistan are far from over. This is Jake Tutman reporting from Helmand for the NATO Channel.